Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Hi, Miss Kiradira. Are you camping? Are you camp? You're such a good line dog. You really are. You're a good line dog. We got fire going already this morning. We are getting ready to head out on some adventures. Breakfast has already been made. Dan survived. Did you survive? I did. Oh yeah, I'll show you Dan's tent. Are you gonna give me the cribs tour? I'll take you on the tour of my place. <laughs> so this is my new pointer. Oh okay. <laughs> I decided to go for something rustic, a little more outdoorsy than right? I used to, you know. So uh, Greg's got the lot next to mine. He does. Yes. And uh, I went with this nice blue and yellow color scheme here. <laughs> Standard doorway. So now if you come in here a little bit, you'll see on the right's the power station. Greg and I are sharing the power. <laughs> so this technical device that's out camping here, this thing powers all the batteries and all the stuff and the phone and stuff that gets no reception that we need. To, it gets no reception. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. There's no Wi-Fi at the campsite. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Well, well, see, where I'm from, we don't have trees, and then we have like a pine tree, and you're like, that's weird. It's a cell tower. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, oh, we're going to have great reception. No reception at all. <laughs> So over here is the living area, just in case you know, I want to have people over or I want to host like a, like a get together or something like that. Then I have my luxury bed here. Uh, let me get rid of my, my jacket here. I have this emergency blanket. But, <laughs> in case of emergency. Right, but I have this cocoon looking shaped sleeping bag here that goes down. And yeah, it gets narrow. Little, it kept me warm. The only thing that was cold was this area here, and that's what this blanket's for. See? Yeah. So, you know, I got to hang out here. It was really nice. It wasn't warm at all. It was quiet. It, I didn't hear any any cars or anything. Right. So, you know, I can hang out here if I'd like to, you know. There's beverages. I do know. Look, at, I have an emergency kit here. <laughs> it's my emergency kit. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> yep. And yeah, that's my crib. And you survived. Yeah, it was really fun. It, yeah. was, it was nice. It Good. was really nice here. At first, I was like, I'm so far away from you guys. Right? The bears could definitely eat you before they would eat us. <laughs> okay, so check this out. So I have this little nature grain, grain bar here. And we went to bed really late last night. I was snacky, so I was like, oh, I have one in the bag. And I've eaten it, and it makes crumbs. Oh, right. And I was concerned that the bears were going to come get my crumbs, <laughs> and they were going to find it, and they were going to sneak it out. And I'm like, just go to bed, Dan. But I tried so hard not to get crumbs everywhere. There might be some in my sleeping bag. Yeah. Uh, because I was worried that animals were going to come get it. They're That's going to smell you out and find you. Is that true or no? I mean, I'm just going to go this way. Because you Thanks might get eaten. Coming. See you later. Bye. <laughs> so, we brought two vehicles. But we all want to ride together. So we have pretty much figured out how to all, all cram into this one. We need a van. Why did I think the two seats was on this side? I think in the old one it was. I think you're right. Okay. I think in the old one it was. So we're all going to cram in here. We're going to grab the dogs and we're going to go on. You want to go on an adventure? Are you ready for an adventure? She's like, I am. Yeah. How about you? Ready for adventure? How about you? Are you ready for an adventure? <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. Look. <laughs> yeah. Reach again, that was cute. Don't chew on that. Don't eat that. All right, let's go. What do you girls think? I don't think either of you have ever rode in the far back of the Jeep. Is there enough space for you back there? I don't care about you guys. I'm more worried about my dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they can both lay down and be okay. Okay, yeah. all right, well, let's see if we can do this. Let's go. Okay, hold on a second. This is actually a road that goes up to Cliff Mine, but we didn't go all the way up to Cliff Mine. We just drove across it and back. Anyway, continue on. You're going across the river. Across the river. Okay. We'll see, you. we'll see you later. Yep, bye. 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 Faster, faster. I shoot the world on my shoulder. Hard from the blues out in the dirt.
I almost got wet. Hey, me again. This is Eagle River Falls in Eagle River, Michigan. This is probably my first real waterfall. Really? Yeah. You can actually go up in the woods down there and get all the way down there, but it, it's kind of a pain. You can see the woods that used to be, they used to have the whole thing jammed off. I want to go, is that a swimming spot down there? Yeah, if it wasn't 50 degrees. Right. The water is not 50 degrees. Water. It's pretty, it is far down. It's probably about 45. Yeah. 40. Like this kind of heights don't bother me. So we made it to the jam pot and they're actually open this time. So we're gonna go get stuff. Jamie's in the car with the dogs. We're gonna take them out in a minute. Dan's going into the Monk Bakery. Yes, the weird thing about being with you guys is you never tell me exactly what anything is. So everybody's talking about this jam pot and I don't know if it's if it's a place to get jam. I don't know if it's, if it's a, a rock in the shape of like jelly. <laughs> I don't know if it's, a, if it's a festival. It's jams and jellies. This is cool. This, this is really cool. And this is an actual monk bakery and they have a monastery back there. That is neat. And they stay here all winter and it's really cool. Yeah, we, have a, we do have the monks where I live and they have a monastery and stuff. And yeah. once a year they have a festival. And oh. they go there and they have all the stuff that they've made all year long and stuff like that. Right. So, Ooh, okay, oh, yeah. we're going. I'm coming out with some jelly. Yeah, and I have peanut butter, so you know what we're having for lunch? Muck butter and <laughs> yeah? sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick, Jess, you are coordinated today from that. head to toe. Look at this <laughs> pandemic fashion, everybody. With, without even trying. Right? <laughs> All the fun stuff in here. All the jellies. We bought so much stuff. We always do it in here. All right, we got all kinds of stuff. We got cookies and a muffin, and I bought two jellies, and what'd you buy? I got brownies and caramels and some honey, and then lemon, what was this? Lemon marmalade. Lemon marmalade, and then wild strawberry jelly, which is, wild strawberries are the best right? strawberries in the world from Michigan. They're they are so good. Sweet. And then Dan got a bunch of stuff. I did, I got jelly. Yep. And a brownie. We got a haul. The dogs uh -huh. are like, but you didn't get anything for us. No. Sorry, girls, I didn't have any treats. Sorry. Do you want a caramel? Ooh, a soft one at that. The next stop was Jacob Falls, which is right next to the jam pot. Greg thinks he's a mountain man. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you made it! You... I don't no! Anything. No, you're good. You made it. This is what it takes to try to get the perfect photo. <laughs> so close. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Sit on your butt. Good job, good job, good job. This will be a lesson in how you do it, Kira. Yeah, right? Watch the pro. Watch the pro Watch go at it. You can get this one, right? Sit. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Memphis. Memphis, sit. Yeah, you do you. Memphis, go for a ride. Memphis. Uncle Camper. Hey, look. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it. perfect dogs, yes. perfect. perfect. What's your deal? What's your deal? Damn, we could like slip and slide down this thing. The water is so clear, and none of the rocks have algae on them. Well, that stuff is, but it looks, everything looks so like clean. We are pretty far away now. It's really pretty here. I put the dogs in the car with Jamie for a minute and I I made it up here but guys I don't know how I'm gonna make it down. We'll just slide. I mean we'll be wet but it'd be fun. 
one of those little disc sleds? Yeah, let's do that. That'd be great. Right? Are you gonna? Are you doing it? Greg said no. It doesn't look very. Stable. It doesn't look very stable. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want you to fall. No, Dan. No. Crystal said we had to keep you safe. Okay. That's where I wanted to go before the nope was <laughs> Nope. <laughs> this was just another quick side of the road stop. We walked into the woods and there was some remains of an old mining village. So that's really all this clip is. Where are we at, girls? All right, we're going that way. See what Dad's doing. This is okay. I'm gonna say it wrong again, Jamie. Tell me what it is. What? Powder. Powder. Not power. This Not isn't power. where they made power. Nope. This is where they kept the powder. Yep, the explosives. Yeah, yeah. Nice stick. You like that one? Holy cow. It looks good from this side, but this direction. <laughs> I say, that one's almost worth keeping. No. Oh, you you got a walking stick I just, too I now? I just had to have a bigger one than Dan's. <laughs> Mine's got the little claw grabber on the end. Oh. So you know, I can reach for stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think Greg's in there. Come on, girls, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Let's go in there. I'm sure there's glass and stuff in here, so be careful. Ooh. Oh, look, out explosives. look how crazy cool. Explosives and mushrooms. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have made it to Delaware Mine. We are getting ready to unload from the car. Look at this view. Look at this. We have done this before, but Dan has never been down here and Greg hasn't been here in years. Look at that red tree. So we're back here again. Look at the little dogs. Hi. How are you? Yeah? Tell me all about it. That's what I thought. Uh-huh. That's a good story. Do you have anything else to say? Is that all? Gosh, you're cute. All right, we're going in there. We're going in the mine. Kira's gonna knock Memphis off the steps. All right, hold on, dogs. Hold on. Yo, keep going. All right, here we go into the mine with the dogs. And Kira wants to be in front. <laughs> We're going, honey. We're going. We got this. Oh, this is the large stope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It says this area is called a stope. Yeah, it is a stope. A stope. One and a half. Ooh, dogs in mine. So as I said, this is the Delaware Copper Mine. This mine operated from 1847 to 1887. Over 8 million pounds of copper were actually removed from this mine. There are five shafts that go down into it. It reaches over 1400 feet deep and there are 10 levels. We of course only get to go down to the first level because the rest of them are full of water. We made it to the end of the mine. Well, we made it to the end of the mine trail. The boys are back there a little bit. The dogs really, really, really wanted to go. So we walked a little bit faster than them so we could get up here, check it out. It's so crazy. Why can't we just ride a roller coaster and go up that way? And it keeps going and we are only on level one. This actually goes down nine levels, but it's all full of water. Yeah. So crazy. Oh, there's a blast hole. Oh, it's so neat to be down in here. So this mine operated in the 1850s. And uh, yeah, I can hear them talking down there, which is weird. I'm all the way down here by myself, which is kind of creepy. I got my dogs, they'll protect me. You'll protect me, right? All right, good. All right, we're on our way out of the mine. This was Shelby's least favorite part. We're gonna see how Kira does. We know Memphis is a champion at this this part. We're Come on, Kira. To, I'm not looking to race up this. Yeah. You got this. You can yeah, do this. Say, this I'm way, Kira. This way. There you go. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. All right, Kira is not scared of the steps like Shelby was. She's got it, this. Kira. Unless it's a bridge. You said you were going slow. You're falling. I can't help it. She's moving. 
I don't know what else to do. You got 10 legs to do. Yeah. Uh, okay. Two are tired. Can we make it? My two are tired. Okay. We're making it, I think. Show my weakness. That I'm, was really did you cool. count? I'm sitting down. Yeah, that was a lot of steps. I, I ran halfway up. I'm like, I'm still young. I thought I heard somebody hoofing up themselves. Yeah. I was doing every other one. Oh, no. Oh, man. Do you need a hand? Man, someone send the mine cart down. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> That yeah. was really cool. Yeah, what'd you think of that? That was your it first? It was really cool, it was nice and cool. It wasn't like cramped in there like you see on TV. Yeah. Uh, it was really cool. Yeah. I liked it. Your first mi real mine experience. Yes. Oh, also it's not up to building code. No, not at all. <laughs> Greg, not you at made all. it! I'm like 100 stairs isn't that many. 100 when stairs. I, 50, I went, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how much my legs hurt anymore. Yeah, right? We did it. You did it. Daddy went to go give the helmets back. So this is going to be part one of a two-part vlog. Otherwise, this would have been over a half an hour. So be sure to subscribe, click that bell to turn on all notifications, and come back tomorrow to see the rest of this day of our camping adventure. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.